Hello, my glorious people of the internet, and today we're back with some more uh, From the Depths. I almost said Factorio, not Factorio, From the Depths. That's what it's we're back with. It's the trouble. Both, both games uh, start with the same letter. I know. It's like your, your brain hiccups sometimes. Uh, right. Now, last episode we were trying to get uh, the tadpole to work. It's kind of fast, which is nice for a sub. Yeah, it is very fast. And it turns on a dime too, which is nice. Oh, yes. It's actually a very, very nicely designed sub. Which is why I do want it to work. It was it was like an aircraft of, like last episode too. And the, that's the only bad thing is that it likes to flip out of the water. It's a uh, two... It's, uh... We need it hmm. to be more front-heavy, actually. Never had that problem. Or, may or maybe it's the fact there's too much... Oh, no, there's two air pumps at the front. That's, um... There you go. No, no, it's not air pumps. Hmm. I it's, um... It's what? It's hydrofoil, basically, ratio. Oh. Oh, yeah, you could just change those. But the fact is, because of how we've designed it, there's not really placement for hydrofoils properly. Mm, you can put them on the backpack here. No, no, no. That that will make it worse. How? Because that'll flip the back down even more. We can give it a nose. Like a like a so. I'd no, give you, that'll I'd break. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Do you have roll? Can you roll? Hang on. I'm going to let get to depth first. Well, you're going back no, up. No, it's, ri it's rising again. You have the ah, hydrofoil, no. so... Yeah. That's because... Okay, yeah. It did exactly what yeah, I told it to. Oh. Um, Stub Squadron and the Broadswords can move out. While we work on this, um, I have to tweak the ACBs. Uh, greater than negative twenty. Right. And then we can worry about arming it. Mm. Oh, you could... I don't think... Uh, did anyone change the... No, there's still missiles. Actually, if we keep them as missiles, will they pop up? It's huh. the bottom ones I'm worried about. Oh, because they Cause, could... Yeah, remember that. Mm. Oh, yeah. I see. Because they're missiles, they've got no propellant, so they're just going to damage the sub. Hmm. I see. Okay. It will stay underwater now. Just. It's more, again, the roll. Yeah, the roll work. Which is going to be a little bit of an issue. Mm, on the arms, you could put propellers. You have enough room for a big propeller on both sides. And, oh, wait, we should probably put the center mass so it turns evenly. Center mass currently is right about her. Hold on. That's center. Hang on. That's where they would ideally be. Ooh, yeah, you can see that. Have to do that. And if we mirror that on the bottom. There you go. Oh, you need to make it one bigger. No. Yeah, on the top you do. No, I don't. Oh, really? Oh, oh, it's big. Okay, it's because the top is off. There we go. There we are. There you go. 
And do you want to put some on the bottom as well? I already did. I already had it, yeah. Uh, roll right hand side. I already done did it. Roll left. Uh, roll left. Roll right. Um, right, let's see if the AI, if we put it onto combat. Mm, will it self? No, it's not. It's not keeping itself a level. Well, naturally it is, but it's not correcting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, you can't put um, hydrofoils at the front and the back, right? Yes, I can. But you need the front and the back to go down. Ah, uh, no, I know what's happened here. It's because there's slightly a bit of weight on. So someone put a fuel engine down. Oh. Uh. Where? Don't worry. Um, I got rid of it. Okay. Um, this centre bit can go. We don't need this anymore. Behind the pilot seat. Where's the AI? Um, uh, yeah, where is right. the AI? Oh, it's right there. Oh, we still have an aerial AI. Yeah, I'm going to switch that out now for a naval AI. Depth requirement of at least 50. Actually, no, let's say 40. Guts to be... No, you should make it like 70. Because as it of... Only, it only dives to 20. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see if it keeps itself. Otherwise, I'll have to do some funky ACB stuff. No one likes the funky ACBs. Okay, so it's going down, it's leveling out, and it's floating back up to the top. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. No. It's as it's leveling out. Yeah, it's leveling out. But it is slowly spinning to the left. Yeah. Hmm. Roll yeah. thrusters aren't firing. Okay, I'll need to put an ACB in for them. I could ideally put an. Um, a PID, but if roll angle greater than zero, uh, pro can I use roll thrusters? Mm, oh, we have no ammo storage, that would be nice to have. Yeah, because we're not, we haven't got it yet, we're still trying to. Get to work. Um, air pumps, no spin. Okay, I'm just gonna put a PID on it. If I can remember how to do a PID. Uh, roll. You may have to put them on the outside. Oh, what's the difference between an ACB and a PCB? PIDs um, I thought are a bit more fine-tuning. Oh, PID. I've never messed with them. Hmm. Right. We are currently keeping level on our roll. We are? Oh, yeah, yeah. I see them slowly turning. Oh. <laughs> Click no for now, so I won't actually see. Oh, oh yeah, they are. They are oh turning. My, oh my gosh, look at how slowly they're turning to keep us even too. But that's all it has to do to keep us even. I'm sure if we turn violently... Yeah, you see they speed up when we turn. Oh, that's super cool. I'm going to start using PIDs now. They're just a tricky to tweak. Uh, let's put all then. And go into this battle. What we got? Uh, um, bomber, mm, brawler, fighter, mortar. Yeah. Nothing too difficult then. Yeah, nothing too bad. Oh. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsies. You mean to add um, these other fleets? Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, actually, I think it won't. Spread out the broadswords because that mortar. Stubs on the flanks. And the sub. Right in the middle. I mean, it's got no ammo. Yeah, just keep it in the back. It's just because I accidentally had the sub selected while the battle started. Okay. Those fighters are really cool. How they fly up and then basically turn to a gunship. Yeah, it is cool. Uh, enemy. One of the fighters is down. The yeah, mortar. mortar. Is disabled. It's taking torpedoes, but oh wait, no! It, it and the brawler are repairing each other. Hmm. Cheating buggers! I hate repairs like that. It, well, it's not cheating, but no, but it's it's cheeky. The worst culprits are mechs. Uh, do make sure you're not controlling your own weapons because this one isn't turning at all. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not on that ship. Yeah, it's not firing at all. But it will. Um. Oh, that, that was I mean, that was bad. That, that that's the thumbnail. Oh, I didn't get that. That's sad. I got it perfect. It looked like a proper musket blast as well. <laughs> Can you send it to me? Uh, no. Uh, come on, we'll have the same thumbnails. It'll be all unique and stuff. Be symmetrical. <laughs> oh no, the weapons are firing now. I think I think it was just damaged. Hmm. Where's the sub? The sub's actually damaged. Oh, we we captured one. And it does not have a hearthstone. Hang on. Right, let's pull everything out of play. And I want to repair Where's... stuff. Oh, that'd be a cool thumbnail. Oh, we captured the brawler. Yeah. That's what I, that's what um, I said. Do we want to keep it? No. Well, I don't well, know. We'll keep it as a dead blueprint. I think that'll work. And we could modify it as uh, into our own heavy artillery ship mm. later. Why do the bullets spawn outside of the gun? In the minigun? Sometimes. Uh, probably to avoid collision, I'd assume. They sometimes spawn behind me as well. Which is weird. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go back to the sub so we can continue to tweak it? Yep. All right. Do not have an air pump. No. Oh no, air pumps are off because it's above twenty. As it's designed. Why is the back end heavier than the front? Oh, there's more metal. Is there? Yeah. Huh. Right, we'll... Oh, we have no resources here. Oh, well, time to go somewhere. Uh, then. yeah. Or you could get the stubs to fly around. We could do. But we need them where the, uh... Broadswords are gonna be. Hmm. They could probably fly back and forth three times before the broadswords even get close. Yeah, but the sub is close enough to a gathering pod. Mm, that's true. Okay, we got we got resources. We got just a few. Okay. There we are. Oh, there's heavy armor here at the back. Oh. That could be why the back is back heavy. 
here we go we'll get rid of that oh. there you go it's less back heavy still back heavy but less Mm, this is a really nice dive. It seems like it's uneven to me. Huh? What you mean? I don't know. It just seems uneven as it's going through the water. Probably. No, but it shouldn't be. It just seems that way. I want to increase the amount of torpedoes it will fire yeah and actually make them torpedoes that would be preferable um so this sort of wall where the old mm -hmm. uh, missiles can go oh i pressed the wrong button oh how dare you i meant to press n and i pressed b but I but I press Q better, so ha ha. Oh. Q Q is always better. Right, um, those can go for now. Oh, we didn't get rid of these roll thrusters here. It's a nice looking ship. Yeah, it's a it's a unique looking sub. I I do. Looks like its own thing, kind of. I mean, it looks a bit squashed. <laughs> it it does look like it's supposed to be like not a as bit flat. longer. Yeah. Uh, decoration comes after. Functionality over cosmetics. Mm-hmm. It's always been a motto. Wait, are you making them longer, or are you just making them? Yeah, seven long. Wow, that is uh, it's intense. Uh, what we got here is that number four. So we'll have ten here. Do you want to copy what I'm doing on the top? Yeah, that's what I was about to do. I'm going to move the electric. Oh, I got rid of our PID. I'll have to put that back. Uh, do you want to remove the, like the frame that's holding the two sections apart? Hang on. I gotta put back in the electric engine. Okay. But my mouse is not cooperating with me. There we are. How dare thy mouse? Frame that's holding the two sections apart? What do you mean? Mm, never mind, I figured it out. Like like yeah. the the middle thing separating like the one missile from the two missile sections. No, on no, the no, side. we'll keep it like that. Okay. So it's a compromise between firepower and just. Um, you do know you need a launch pad, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I got them. <laughs> Those are launch pads. Yeah. I derped just for a minute though. Oh, I found a mod on the workshop for uh, gauge increases for um. Missiles, yeah. Yeah. I saw that. I want kind of want to play it with it. Seems fun. I just want them to make the spin block on spin block a default thing, but that could be abused so badly. How? Because uh, spin blocks get rid of all like drag resistance and stuff. So add drag resistance. I, w I would take that any day. Yeah. I mean, if, if that happened to the game, you know someone would be unhappy because you'd have to redesign all his mechs. <laughs> a certain someone. Uh, but do you know how cool it would be to have a mech like that can with like proper, stand? Proper legs. With, I know. With a knee. With a knee joint. We need knees. Hashtag we need knees. So, uh, I've built... All, all the mechs I've built, I have actually built like legs for them. Mm. But they, they move <laughs> with just legs that are just straight. So they have to sort <laughs> of like waddle and lean to the side. 
slightly to get them to go forward. Oh, you should make like a penguin. So that's that's pretty much waddles. how. But the leg has to go out to the side a little, so it falls forward, lands on that leg, then the other one does the same, it falls forward onto that leg. So it basically looks like someone running down a hill too fast. What if you make like a spider thing? Like you can have a leg that like is offset just a little bit, that when it comes up it then comes back down. Like, mm. you can make a spider mech that way. Yeah. Walkers are generally easier to make than mechs. Yeah. Uh, but do you know how cool it'd be, like, to have like a, like a super? Oh, wh what'd you do? I oh. was moving it. Okay. Like to have a mech that could like its feet stand in the water and it, like its chest is above the water, and it just reaches down, picks up a ship, and throws it. <laughs> yeah, she'd actually have to make hands with enough spin blocks. Ah. Uh, oh, and um. The, you... the only issue then would be because you can't put ACBs on spin blocks, so... Well, they could add it. Yeah. I mean, it'd be a lot of work, so I wouldn't expect it. Yeah. All the stuff that would need to be done. It's probably like a week's worth of programming, staying up every night, hating yourself. <laughs> I, I would imagine, because I've done a little bit of programming. It can't be that complicated. Oh, we have another battle. Uh, yes, please. I would much enjoy that. Okay, what we got? We got a mortar, we got a fighter, and we also have a Sam. Oh, and another okay. mortar. We have two mortars. Two mortars. We got two mortars. I repeat, two mortars. You heard me right. Okay. Two mortars. All right, broadsword's going to flank. Yep, split them up so the mortars can't hit them. I'll have this one be a little bit more long range. Uh, stubs to about 300 altitude. We okay. really should paint the stubs. Yeah, we should paint them. Oh, remember the Predator? <laughs> oh, that thing. It, if we had enough of them, that, that would have been devastating. They did work. But they just weren't powerful enough. Aw, oh, that video was fun to make. I still have them in the files, and they would fit oh, they the would. volume limit. I guess technically... Glau has a higher volume limit. So huh. that also means if I want to re retrofit a certain uh, nearly indestructible tank into a hovercraft... Uh-huh. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no packs. We're not making... Not your child. Aww. You're not gonna bring your child here. It's not. It's not. I could. I could make them even better. Even it's, more armor. Okay, your little child that hates you because you know you make it perfect. Yeah. It's, it's not bring your child to work day, so you know, don't do it. That that's my reason why I struggle to play FTD. Just for the sake of playing FTD, is that goddamn tank? Because it's just so good. Nothing can beat it. No, it can be beaten. I know, but like, not it's under normal for that, circumstances. For that, for that campaign, 99% of the vehicles can't take in a one-on-one. -on -one. Unless they got like a lucky shot, but... No, even then, I, I found its weak points. Where are they? Where were they? Underneath the wheels, I'm assuming. No, uh, near the back. Oh. To the diagonal of the engine. Heat shell went in there, it hit the engine. Mm. Oh! Oh, the fighter's gonna land. Oh. I wish planes, like, falling out of the sky, like, I wish they would rip themselves apart from, like, the drag forces. Like, <laughs> them going that fast, like, you need enough structural stability to, like, not rip it apart. I would quite enjoy that. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. Just a Sam firing missile after missile into the side of a broadsword. Ooh, that was spicy. That was close. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of missiles. But you can see how weak missiles are now. Yeah. And it's a shame. So they did used to be the go-to weapon, didn't they? Yeah. Well, they still are, it's just not in this campaign. Not under volume limit. If you have... Like, they work just about on anything if there's no volume limit. Mm. Oh, imagine on the mech, like on the shoulders, like it has flares. And like on the knees, so if um, you go... 
That'd be... We need... Okay, so like something like the Valkyrie, but not a complete on, failure. That's what we need to do. Because... What's happening? Uh, you might have to override one of the broad swords. How come is it being... Being funky. It's more due to their repairs. And the lack of our repairs. Okay, I've lost the gun on that one, I think. Or something. Ooh, I got kicked out of a ship. Okay. I'm gonna put my points back into... Uh, mechanic. Oh, wait, there they are. Never mind. I think we have to take a page out of their book and put... Rep Pair tentacles on our boats. Yeah, why haven't we done that? Because, uh, we don't want to be cheap. It's actually exp expensive, but. No, but cheap as in the sense of cheaty. Oh. Like, cheap is referred to as a easy tactic. It doesn't require much. Yeah, it is just we need to separate those mortars. I knocked out this one's engine, so. Good. There you go. By hand. I killed it with my bare hands. Alright, AI dead on one enemy craft. I believe that's a Sam. Mm. Uh, I'll go in and retrofit the broadswords after recording. Just put the repair tentacles okay. in. Give them a quick check to their armor. Basically do what I did with the pack. <laughs> and we know what happened to that thing. Um, it was horrible. That's exactly what happened. It was horrible for about the first three iterations because of the turret... You know what my favorite thing is we've ever built? The Cyclops. That was my favorite. Because yeah, I, that... I, I put a lot of work into that thing, and it was successful, which is nice. So, it's... my favorite, or at least one of the ships I like the most, the mm -hmm. Fenrir. Oh, yeah. That, that's my favorite. Because it's, like, iconic. It started out as such a mismatch of, like, because... It was you, me, Zuki, and Red who initially worked on it. It was everyone's, like, everyone's and talents. I, I, I put the base in place, and you and me started on it. Then we did the stream, which we met Red and Zuki. And then after we built a bit on it for an episode, Red took it off, did his... uh Iteration. Decoration. Oh, yeah, with all the bunks and stuff. And the terrible and guns that didn't work. Yeah, and and those. And it, it had, performed rather badly at that point. It, it did, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the look. Because it, it then, felt like something then, that could actually be inhabited. And then, uh, what was it? Later on in the campaign, we fixed it. So it was actually combat effective. Yeah. You know what always has bugged me? That huge cram cannon on top still has like no explosive in it because i didn't know how to build cram back then so like <laughs> every single thing is just an ammo like an ammo uh what, what are they called like it's a cram ammo slot that's that's all i put on wow. it because i had no idea how to build crams at that point oh uh, so I it's like we need to do a stream where we update the fen room. oh yeah we need to do that that'd be fun i think got it make it a little bigger so it can actually have some proper armor instead of just its one thick metal wall. Mm. You know, give it some heavy. Oh, I was thinking like metal heavy armor, then maybe some spacing for the pontoons. Ooh, that'd be nice. And remember, because it's a pontoon craft, it, you wouldn't have to uh, armor the insides of the pontoons as much where the main hull would be. Hmm. That would take a few streams to completely fix that thing. But that thing would be unstoppable if we made it correctly. Yeah, if we made it... No, I wouldn't want to make it, like, completely massive. But we can make that thing, like, a force to be reckoned with. 
Yeah, u u update the Fenrir. Yeah, that, that should be something on our to-do list. Hmm. My, my spidey senses are tingling, actually. <laughs> it's the 30-minute mark. <laughs> That's wow. Why. Wow, they were, they were a little bit over then. Yeah, so uh, thank you everyone for watching. If you have liked this episode, then please consider liking and subscribing to me or Atlas. Yes, you should do that. And uh, go check out our other series, our other co-op series, which is Factorio. And on my channel, I'm doing Total Warhammer 2 single player. Uh, are you doing anything single player wise? No. No. I don't know why I ask. Yeah. I'm going to figure it out this week, and there's going to be a video. I don't know what it's going to... You know what? Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to post a poll of all the games just, I would like to do. Just pick a game that you enjoy. But I don't... But I don't know what I enjoy, because I only play, like, four games. I only play, like, four. <laughs> and one of the games, I can't, sh I can't play, because, like, no one would like it here. So... Yeah, that's how I feel every time I post something that's not FTD. <laughs> Everyone's like, "No, we need we need crams and chips and it, it, campaigns." Look, like, we're going over the video here, but I feel people need to hear this if they stuck around. When we first did our first FTD series, and we were getting the majority or like, the highest views we ever got on our videos. Yeah, it was the golden days. But the moment we tried doing anything other than FTD yeah it is, and it, it's still it's, the case now yeah like these videos only get like 100 on my channel but before they got like five, 500 in a week it's, I mean, it's yeah. a shame because I don't want to be stuck to one game I want to be able to play what I like you know streams do really well that pub stream we did got 50 50 yeah. views and they like twenty five percent of them watched at least halfway through, so I think the way of the future is more streaming. But I don't know how I'm gonna work that into my schedule, if at I all. Have to provided works not a bitch. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye. Sorry for Goodbye. ranting. Bye.